Hail, Osplane Snako here with another custom figure review. This is a spin off to my previous video review of the um, custom Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. First up on the bat, we have Leonardo, the leader. I figured he's probably the, the best one to start with. Um, as you can see, I've done a few tweaks with him and I've actually taken a bit of a liberty with these characters and I've gone an extra step. But I'm really happy with how they've come out. I showed you in my other video, they just had their two weapons, he just had his two swords. Now, these are not the swords that come with the uh, Nickelodeon figures. These are the swords that come with the figures. But I was looking at these and I thought, they're quite nice, they've got a nice look to them, nice detail to them. But they're really small. Um, and yes, these guys are small, which kind of makes sense why he'd use that. But in the real world, he'd use bigger swords. And I've given him an entire arsenal, or rather, I've kept his arsenal. The Nickelodeon figure comes with the dagger, the three kunai, two swords, and a third sword. I've just taken it in a different direction. These swords are actually from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie line. Um, my Leonardo's in bits, which is why I've got Raphael here. Um, I can't remember what year, I think it's 2004 they came out. But it was a pretty cool movie, and I got the turtles from them. I thought the figures were pretty blah. wasn't that impressed with them. But the weapons are much bigger um, than the Nickelodeon ones. So that's why Michael, uh, Leonardo and Donatello have got different weapons. Raphael and Michelangelo have the same. Because, you know, they don't really need the length. But, yeah, I've kind of tweaked him still. He has his two Kanani. Two Katana. Uh, which I've tried, decided to go from the side. I was going to go for a cross and then put this one as the red one, but I've gone for uh, the two on the side, so I think it looks pretty cool together when I like that. Um, and then he's got his three kunai. Now, they <laughs> had these kunai, like one here, one here, one here, one here, and they were like all over the place. And I was going to originally put his dagger here. In fact, originally, I was going to put his extra sword there when I was actually going to use these ones. I was going to put these two on his back, and then the original one, the third one, was going to make a holster and put it there. But when I did that, his arm couldn't go lower than that, so I didn't like that. So I've decided to leave these clear. Um, so I've put everything on his shell. So his little dagger's here, and his free kunai here. And I think they look so cool! I mean, these guys are ninjas, and ninjas don't just go into the battle with one weapon. As much as it's cool that the turtles do have their individual weapons, they don't just go into battle with them. So that's why I've, I've done these extra pockets, so the choice is there if I want to have them just to two, or to multiple. Um, now, like I said, these are the kunai from that, that series. Now, you're going to have to bear with me on the paint on these. I have varnished them, but the varnish is not that great, and these figures have a lot of tight grips and tight sleeves, so the paint is already starting to come off. So, I need to get some better varnish and redo them. But I can show you what I've got so far. I've given them these knives, these swords rather, just giving them a blue handle as an homage to the uh, classic series with a little bit of bronze, silver blade and silver grip. And when they're not rubbing, they do look quite nice. The other sword... <coughs> excuse me. Sorry guys, I'm still ill. I basically took one of these and then I filed it down on both sides um, and I've given it a point and I've cut the handle down as well so to make it look like into a Chinese long sword. Or broadsword. No, it's a long sword. No, it is a broadsword. No, I can't remember. A Chinese sword, like um, in Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon kind of sword. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. And it's nice that he's got a different kind of sword. So he's got a double bladed sword and a single bladed sword, or single edged sword rather. Single edge, double edge. So that's pretty cool. Then his kunai. Again, silver. And I've done a little blue handle with a bit of black on the underside, so that's pretty funky, I really like that. Again, the paint's coming off. Um, I do apologise. And then his knife is the same. It's just silver with a little blue handle. So all his weapons... I, you're probably asking, why is this one red then? I wanted to make it different. I wanted to make it like he's found this sword, or been given it from someone, or inherited it, or something. And I thought he doesn't have a choice in the colour. Um, and I wanted to make it a bit of a special sword. I was thinking of putting some kind of magical engravings in it, but no, I decided not to. Um, he's got the, uh, two, the 2004 series, movie, whatever, uh, poster for his swords. But all these are made up from the white uh, belt 
from the uh, Neckatels, which as I showed in my previous video is where the um, hips, thighs, shoulders and biceps have come from. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm really, really happy with how these guys come out. Uh, I think they look absolutely amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm just over the moon that I'm finally finished them. They've been in the works for so long. Um, really, really do love, love how these guys have come out. Um, so yeah, you know, um, I guess I go over the articulation. The articulation is still the same. Head's on a ball peg, so you can go up that much, down that much. Full 360 around. I'm not going to because it scrapes the paint off the back. Shoulders are on a ball disc, so they can go up that high. Round 360. Bicep swivel. Single cut in the elbow to there. And a wrist rotation. Nothing in the torso. The legs can go forward to that. They can do a split to that. You've got a uh, thigh rotation, upper thigh rotation, and then a double knee. And nothing in the toe. Now normally I do go for toe or ankle articulation, but I just figured if I did it would just ruin the actual look of these legs and I think they look pretty funky. Um, you can hold these swords really really nice but I've done it. I only tried Raphael holding since painting and he just stripped the paint off so this will probably take the paint off just so you know. But like I said I'm not that bothered because because he can, uh, like I'm going to redo them anyway when I get some better varnish. And I just think that these swords, like I said, they're a lot bigger and they're a lot more uh, realistic in the aspect of what he would use in, in this scale, you know. He wouldn't use these little toothpick swords. So, well, in my opinion anyway, you can tell me what you think. But, that looks pretty funky, if you ask me. Put that back. There's a dagger back. There you go. That's my uh, review for Leonardo. Catch me back in a bit with my next review for my next one. As for usual though, please leave your comments below. Oops, sorry Leo. Uh, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye bye.